Hi, a couple of interesting things to relate. Um, boy, I went to my local um, gun shop and um, their shelves were, were full. Um, they had a lot of stuff there, but they didn't have Varget, but that's okay. Um, picked up some primers, um, eight pounds of powder for my um, 6.5 by 55 and my uh, 303 British. Um, pretty happy about that. Um, so I got a, an order this week from um, Midway USA. I was pretty happy about that. Anyway, some good stuff, um, including a, um, a bullet mold for my um, 303. I'm really looking forward to loading those up. Anyway, I wanted to just quick video um, a tale of three bullets. Um, these were all 357 or 38 special. Um, a, a shot out of my GP100 with um, six inch barrel stainless steel. Um, three bu bullets, um, Hornady XTP in 357. Uh, all shot out of the same bullet, same conditions, more or less the same session. Um, so the first one, XTP, um, no expansion at all into um, a kind of a clay berm. Second one, um, a bit of uh, deformation, a um, little bit of a mushroom, a little bit of expansion or, or whatever, but basically... Um, you know, it hit and it, the bullet, you know, was going fast enough for it to um, malform. Not very clear. Sorry about that. Third bullet. A clear mushroom. So, funniest thing is, um, these XTP bullets can actually mushroom, which... I saw a lot of stuff online that said 38 special loads. This wasn't even plus P. This is just 38 special um, loads. I forget this unique um, whatever the what it might be. I, I'm, I actually I don't want to tell her what the formula is, but it's it's basically kind of a robust 38 special round. But in anyway, and for a Hornady XP, XTP, um, enough to um, mushroom it. So again, kind of a tale of. Three bullets. Um, sorry, not very clear. But uh, the first one, no expansion, some, and then all mushrooming. So go figure. I guess it depends on what it hits, what happens to it when it impacts, and what it hits, like I said. Um, but basically, it's capable of mushrooming. And that's a 38 special, just a normal round. Um, and I didn't think it would do that. But anyway, that's a kind of an interesting tidbit. I hope you find it interesting. I'm always trying to find interesting things about what I do. Um, and I hope you find it interesting too. I hope you're doing well. Thanks a lot for watching and um, all the best.